www.mogulspeaks.com. Thank you for watching today. My voice is a little hoarse. However, I'm going to push through just because I'm committed to my uh, recording schedule. So, hey, y'all. This is Lady Gray. Today, I'm doing Women Warriors because I think it's important to showcase the women who are out here uh, doing big things, doing great things, and really showing that you can achieve anything. So, let's jump right in. I want to start with Jessica Dupart. You have seen her. She's known as the the real BB Judy, owner of Kaleidoscope Hair Products. She helped revitalize New Orleans by investing and opening a salon. She is a marketing genius. I know you've seen her videos. If you've been on Instagram, she's always putting miracle drops on people and really trying to get them with this every other day in the 14 days, trying to get this scalp to grow back. Honey, she is hilarious. She puts her money toward her dream and most recently known for the Better Get This Free Knowledge Tour. Next, we have Tiffany Haddish. She's a Los Angeles comedian. I, I recently saw her in Girls Trip, but she's been around for a while. She's currently on the last OG where she's the star taking over like uh like that guy Urkel took over Family Matters. I mean, Tracy Morgan recently did an interview where he shut that down like, uh-uh, don't ask me about her. That's not what we're going to do today. You know, no, 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 no. This is about Tracy Morgan, okay? And I love Tracy Morgan, but it came off a little, mm, little slight haterish, but that's okay. Uh, moving on to Blake Lively, aka Serena Vanderwoolson, um, Gossip Girl, a Met Gala staple, and this lady did a whole movie sitting on a rock. I mean, just literally sitting on a rock and trying not to get eaten by a shark. Plus, once again, I did say Serena Vanderwoolson. Uh, Remy Ma. Remy Ma is going to be in all of my videos because she is somebody who I, I'm, I'm not really into the music per se, but I just love her style, the lifestyle that she portrays and is hopefully living. I mean, I love the song Pretty Brown Eyes. I love the black love. Um, I like how she interacts with Papoos and she's rap royalty. She's dedicated. She's got her own squad. She be free nowadays. She's just making music, making good music, putting out good music, and Pap is as well. Carolyn Stanbury, I know you guys are like, okay, this is London. Yes, she's from Ladies in Lond of London. I believe she's relocated to Dubai. I like her because on Ladies of London, she is hilarious and slightly grimy at the same time. I know she had to close her business. She's just showing people how to get through some bumpy roads and still be at the top of her game. And and I think she makes for fun TV. Moving on to Cardi B. She was the underdog. This girl is a comet. She's a hardworking rapper. And I'm not sure if she's going to act. But she has a personality to where I honestly wouldn't want to see her act. I want to see Cardi. I've been following her since she was putting up her videos and dancing. And now, hey, she makes money moves. Money moves for her now. And I just like the way she opened the door immediately immediately to her sister it wasn't any type of hate sometimes you see where they they don't put their sisters or brothers on if you have talented siblings come on now i mean let them shine uh nikki minaj is i mean that's rap royalty period.com she's a rap veteran <laughs> she's like Jay. I mean, she's she's got a humongous following. She's Young Money Big Three. She just put out a couple of songs. I think she's settling into her place. Ice Cube just did a, a really good interview where he said that you kind of get a couple years on top and then you settle into where you are in the industry. And I think Nicki Minaj has dedicated people. And I think that she's a queen. But as a queen, sometimes you have to attack. And sometimes you get attacked. So she's at a stage of getting attacked. And then now I think she's attacking just a little bit. But I love it. I think it's sport. And it's a sport that I enjoy. Carrie Bradshaw. I mean, Sarah Jessica Parker. I love Sex in the City. I love, 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 love. I thank this show for introducing me to Manolo Blahnik, Cindy, and Cosmopolitan. I love that show. It's been 20 years or more. And 
That's why I put Sarah Jessica Parker on this list. Asia Brown is the mayor of Compton. She is in a powerful position. She shows you how you can grow and become the head of a major metropolitan. And she's got wonderful changes in the city of Compton. It's something you may want to look up and see what great things she's doing there. Kylie Jenner. She is a makeup mogul. Yes, she's in the Kardashian clan, uh, but she's a makeup mogul with the Kylie lip kits and those other products. She's a social media marketing like genius. She's following in the, I guess, the Kim Kardashian or the Kris Jenner pattern. One thing I want to say is in order for her to do these different things, she has to show up. Anybody can set it up but she has to show up and do the work. So she wouldn't be getting all these opportunities if she wasn't producing. It doesn't matter who your sister is if no one buys what you're selling. Moving on to Naomi Campbell, which is one of my favorites. She is one of the first supermodels, period.com. Uh, she's a world beauty, a business mogul. Uh, she's paid thousands just to wake up and to show up. Kim Kardashian, moving on to Kim. She's a social media mogul a reality porn pioneer, a reality TV pioneer and mogul, and she parlayed a sexual mishap into a myth. She made her entire family richer with the help of her momager, Kris Jenner. Ariana Grande. She's an actress, a singer, and she's a social media star. I looked up to teens across the world. People are looking at this girl. I just saw a picture of her in Vogue. And without that ponytail, I didn't even know it was her. And honestly, I'm still not sure that it's her. They might have just played us. Oprah Winfrey is a gazillionaire. She had the Oprah Winfrey Show, the OWN Network, Private Jet, Tyler Perry. Um, she knows everybody. Everybody knows Oprah. Letitia Wright. She's a Londoner, born in Guyana. Uh, she was in Black Panther, Drake's video, Ready Player One, and Urban Hymn. I like that there's someone young and British and Guyanese that someone can look up to and say, I look like this girl or this girl is awesome. She was introduced to the Housewives. Uh, she's a past Victoria's Secret model. And I think she has a different look that kids can look up to who are from areas where she's from or have a look like her and want to feel included and feel like, oh my goodness, you know, I have this color eye or I have this color skin and I want to be included as well. Lupita Nyong'o is a Kenyan Mexican actress. She was in Black Panther, Star Wars, Queen of Katwe, and I love to see her energy. I just love to see her interact with everybody. I think that she's an amazing actress, and she really makes you feel like you're transported to where she's trying to take you. You feel like you're going along this ride. I, I love her look as well, and I just think it's awesome to see someone who shares that different look, that very great look. Azealia Banks. Now, if you don't know who she is, you want to Google her and just... She's hilarious, but she's, I think she's serious. That's the thing. I used to think it was comedy, but like kind of like Jess with the mess, but mm, not so much. So she kind of challenges the popularity of those in art including hip-hop and politics everything else she just kind of pokes at the hornet's nest to see what will come out and she kind of boxes with it when it comes out but she has questions and she makes statements regarding things that she agrees or disagrees with and she recently accused rupaul of plagiarism she recently accused cardi b of cultural vulturism and i think there was something about rizza and russell crow in a hotel room i don't know um Moving on to Tomi Adeyemi, she's the author of Children of Blood and Bone. And so this is like Black Panther meets Harry Potter. It's got magic. I can't wait to read it. And it just can encourage people to read and dream and be whimsical. You don't always have to be so just stuck and mundane just to be able to dream and think of something different. That's how they came up with like electricity and these other things, being whimsical and just dreaming. So finally, number 20, guys, is Beyonce. Beyonce. And why do I put Beyonce on this list? Because she's freaking awesome. She was in Destiny's Child. She's got businesses, albums, charities, dance routines, lemonade, on the run, on the run too. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on your favorite social media mogul and click the bell. We always have contests and you never know what you can win. Toosies!